What is up, guys? I'm out here with uh, Dennis and Andrea. I just got here. They have been here for a couple hours already, actually. But uh, they just plowed this field, so pretty exciting stuff. We're going to see what we can find today. And uh, hopefully I got something good enough for video footage to make another video. Last couple times I've been out, man, it's been rough. But I've been coming here, and there was all stubble as you've seen in my last video, so. Anyway, we're gonna truck on here and see what we can find. Thanks for uh, joining me on another metal detecting adventure, guys. We'll see you uh, on the first hole. Thirty-six, thirty-seven. That's a pretty good signal. Probably trash though. Okay, right down here somewhere. Another one of these damn washers. Pardon the French. I hate these things. It's such a good coin signal. Silver signal. Alright. That's fine so far, guys. Giant piece of lead. It's nice though. It's better than digging up all this al aluminium. <laughs> this damn field's covered in aluminum, but this is a nice chunk of lead. Yeah. Knife marked it or something, so. Anyway, let's keep going. I think Dennis and Andrew switched fields on me, but I have a good feeling about this field. I'm gonna hang out here. See you guys in a bit. I don't know what it is lately, but I sure have been finding a lot of these. Look at that, it's another spoon. Nice bent up looking spoon. Got a cool design to it. That's art right there, people. That is art. Oops. Very nice. I'll take that and we will move on. Interesting bit here, guys. This quad's still got the chain. It's got a chain in it. Let's see what's at the other end. Gold, I hope. Yeah, right. I haven't found any of that yet. Ah, hard. And looks like it just ends right there. Nice little piece of chain. Not sure what it was used for, but pretty cool. Moving on. I just started off. Yeah, so. this piece, guys. Not sure what it is. Handle off of something, though. Probably would have had something right there. Nothing there though. Alright, let's move on. Just had a nice little bus. Musket ball come up. Little pistol ball. Pretty fun. Alright. Throw it on. Next time you guys, whole button. Part of the shrink still on there. Man, that thing's old though. I don't even know how you would date something like this, but that thing is old. Alright, moving on.
All right, everybody, here's my roundup. As you can see, loads of targets, but once again, it's been mostly trash. I did have these two surface vines look like part of a teacup, maybe, coffee cup. Pretty cool. I just picked them up. Uh, piece of bomb shrapnel. I think this is part of a bomb as well. Probably not, though. I don't know. Um, anything interesting? Just this lead here. A couple pieces of lead. I thought this was maybe a, a lead seal that hasn't been pressed or anything. So that might have been a blank. Um, I don't know how that process went. I'll have to Google that. This one I thought was a hammered coin. Boy, I got excited. Nope. Trash. Yep, lots of nothings over here. All these things are a pain in my butt. They get such a good signal. And then, this was my almost silver for the day. I think it might have been silver plated. Uh, knife handle maybe. Not exactly sure. Uh, another piece of a silverware handle. Hand, whatever. Um, I can't really read the inscriptions or anything. But yeah, maybe part of a spoon. Here's another spoon. There's all kinds of silverware out there. And another, oops, another part of a spoon or a fork. And one more. So those were all pretty cool. Here's my piece of chain that I did find. I don't know what that's to. I did find this buckle. I don't think I recorded that. Um, let's see here. Three coins I got is uh, a Victorian half penny, 1863. I think my oldest coin, which is very nice. Can't read this one. I think it's a George V. You can see the J or the G right there. So another George V half penny. I think this one is also a George half penny. Uh, yeah. Yep, there's George. I think that's George. I don't know. Uh, this little button was pretty cool. We had a flower and some more flowers around it. So is the shank bent over. It was a nice little find. And then there was this really old button. Pretty heavy duty button. The musket ball. Good find. Another part of a button. Might have had some gold gilt on there at one time. Little four four hole button. And that's about it. This has some writing on it, not sure what it is. Probably just a piece of farm equipment maybe. Mm, this thing's got some fancy on it, but I have no idea what it would be. Pretty cool anyway. And then this ring right here. Find a few of these. I'm not sure what they are. I don't know. Anybody have any ideas what that might be? Go ahead and let me know. My fingers are all stained up. I've been staining all day. I figured I gotta get this done though so I can make my video for you guys this week. But uh, yeah. Now that's the roundup. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know there wasn't too many awesome finds, but hopefully we'll get out this weekend and have some better ones. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks again for watching.